One, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah HaKadash, double honors to the apostles <clears throat> and the elders of Great Millstone, and a sincere shalom to the Akim that's out there pushing in sincerity and a truth and a sound doctrine. All right. First and foremost, before I continue, I want to say anything else I want to say to Wadi Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, for giving me. The fellow Akim start from our apostles on down the opportunity to do these lessons, these videos, the opportunity to go out there on the highways and the hedges to edify and warn the nations of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, the Latinos and the Native Americans, the true biblical Jews, the Lord's chosen people. All right. The ones the law, statutes, the commandments and the promises were given to. All right. Shalom, the water. So, you know, I'm not going to make this video, you know, really long because I, really, I usually don't even go, on, go in on this topic. You know, but, you know, uh, uh, you know, it, it, through the spirit, you know, this Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua gave me the spirit to do, the, do this video on it, you know, on this topic, you know, and, you know, pretty much, man, you know, you women, man, y'all better get right, man. You know, I'm talking, you, you men too, but mainly you women too, man, but, you know, because Esau, what, what Esau get ready to do is he get ready to put pressure on you women mainly, right? And we've been, we've been telling you. For years and years upon years that this was the that that's this is the stuff that's going to happen right that they're really going to start put, putting pressure on you women man right or you so-called black and latino and native american women man right because they know what you what you want they know you want careers and things like that that's why they putting y'all in the medical field but they know women make better make better workers uh for them man they make better slaves all right and that's this what we uh, this is what we trying to this is what we tell you to come back to the voice of the heavenly Father, man, and stop trying to surpass a man. Stop trying to do a man's job because it ain't going to work, right? But for you wicked ass women that, that out there that just don't want to get it, and you know I'm expecting a flag coming my way because every time I talk about the woman, they 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 flag. Every time we the, us brothers we talk about the woman, you know the wickedness of the woman, they flag us. But the women, but women can do videos on this all over, man. Call us dogs and bums and things like that, right? Call us all types of names. They got all over social media. They do it. All black black women talk about black men need to die. You know, black the police need to kill more black men, man. That's what they that's what they talking about. You know, that's what they saying. So, you know, we come at we come at you raw, man. You know, and we telling you come back to the voice of the heavenly Father. Stop trying to do a man's job, man. You know. The, the sisters that's that's that sincerely um listening and learning they be they be the ones that's that's looked at as crazy in this world because it, wow they being a woman you know they being a woman you know and this is so um you know before again before I could I continue on man, this is a the video from the brother um GMS Hagabar Dorak 144 all right and he did a video as you can see here you know, and I said I saw an article about this last week, and I could I couldn't find it again. You know, I didn't really feel like searching it up because this video, this this, this article right here, pretty much says the same thing, man. Right? You women better get right, man. You know. It says basically all the jobs lost in the U.S. last month belong to women, to women, right? And and as you can see right here, unsurprisingly, women of color have been affected the most. I wonder why. I wonder why. Right? Y'all better get right, man. You know? This is a warning. These are warnings. That you women better get right, man. You know? I see y'all all over the place walking with your heads up. You go, you got your new cars or whatever. I don't need no man. Ugh, blah, 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 blah. You know, my body, my choice. I, I, I can, you know, I can have an abortion all I want. You know, and shit like that, man. And y'all, you know, the loud mouths and, you know, you look at men like complete shit. Right? But that's good, though. I want to get a, I want to get a couple of scriptures on that, too. Right? But you women, man, y'all won't fall. Y'all won't fall the hardest. And you know what, man? <clears throat> to be honest, <clears throat> when I see you two thirds fall, man, you know, it's easy for us to it's easy for us to say right now, man. But you know what? And, and you know, as of right now, man, in, in that spirit, it, the Lord gonna give us that spirit and that day that to n to not feel sorry for you people because y'all don't want to listen. You know, you women when we try to when we when we try to correct you and we tell you what you're doing wrong, you know what you do. You want to throw your middle fingers up. 
you want to you want to you know you know you want to call us all types of names bums and things like that okay you know we tell we tell we tell you that you you not this is this is not how a woman behaves you know and you don't want to listen right so when this stuff right here starts happening to you man what you want what 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 what, what you simps want us to do sit up there and say well man you know <laughs> Let's, let's go help the woman out. Let's go help them out. They ain't helping none of you bitches out, man. You know? They're not helping not one of you bitches out, man. Right? If you are a sister, you are a sister. If you're not, then you just a bitch in the, in the world, man. You're just a bitch. You know? This word is only for the for the true brothers, mainly the brothers and the sisters, man, that want to get, get right. You know? You niggas out here, man, y'all want to get right, then, and then, you know, two words, man. Fuck you. That goes to you women. That goes, that goes, it's like, that goes to you men. That goes to your women. That goes to all you two thirds, man. That don't want to get right. All right? This is what we've been telling you people, man, all along. And you know what we say? The Wadi how about Shimmy I was shy to this because you know a lot more of you women gonna be looking like looking like this woman in this picture right here, man. Y'all gonna be looking like her. A lot of you. Right? And um throughout this video, he was talking about, you know, they, they selling nudes and stuff like that. You know, but still struggling. <laughs> what you want us to do? Feel sorry for you, man? Hey man, you proud ass women. Hey, Let's 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 get a scripture, man. And this is all out of correction. This is all out of correction. God damn it! I, I did not mean to do that. This is all um. This is all uh, out of correction. All right. Uh, let's get. Let me let me open it, that scripture back up. I, I don't know why. I don't know what happened. Now my screen acting up. You talk about the woman that your phone will start fucking up. <laughs> All right. This is um Jeremiah four verse thirty, man. Jeremiah four thirty gonna hit y'all hard, the hardest, man. You know, y'all sit up there doing videos with a bunch of makeup on and shit. Finally, a black man defends us. Finally, a black man defends. What what much? How much more defense do you need? You bitches need, man. You know, you got a system to, to defend you, man. Us defending you ain't gonna mean nothing. You know, it ain't gonna mean nothing. You know, y'all quick to call the system on us. You know, I know my own mother said that. You know, he put his hands on me. All I got to do is call the police and get his ass locked up. That's crazy, man. I witnessed that. I witnessed my mother doing that, man. You know, we all did. All I got to do is call the police. But meanwhile, if we, if we, if y'all put your hands on us, talk about you women, you put your hands on us. You think we can easily just say all I gotta do is call the police and get your black you get your bitch ass locked up? We can't do that. They gonna look at it like, oh, you a man, you can handle it. Oh, now of a sudden I'm a man. You know this system wants you to be a man when you want them to be a man when you when when they want you to be a man, right? These women they want you to be men when they when when they want you to be men. You know. I'm equal to you, yeah. Okay, until until your car break down or until somebody breaking in the house. Who you gonna look at? You wanna turn your head and look at a man, right? Save me, save me. Guess what, man? Let me tell y'all something. Now when and when nine one one shuts down, we guess what? We we know what's gonna happen when when nine one one shuts down. I'm talking about you, you niggas too, man. You know, that, that like depending on the system. This goes to every last one of you, depending on the system. Now, I know I'm talking a little bit, so I'm going to get a script. I'm going to get, go on with this scripture. This is Jeremiah 4, 4 and 30. It says, when thou art spoiled, what will thou do? Right? So when you, sp you know, the women out here, man, they spoil. You know, when you go to spoil, the word is right here. Let's, 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 let's go to it. <laughs> you know, let's, let's, uh, let's go to it. All right. All right. Okay. All right. This is a uh, spoiled. All right. 
It says to deal violently with this, uh, despoil, devastate, ruin, destroy. You women are pretty much destroyed, man. So are we, you know. But you, but you women, man, you said y'all the weaker vessel, you know. Y'all destroy, man. You know, spoil. You spoil, man. When and ultimately, what that word goes back to is um is um no good, you know. You used up. That's why you weren't. That's why y'all wear all this makeup and shit because you used up. All right. So it says, and when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Right? Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with the ornaments of gold, though thou rinsest thy face with painting. And I just praise it, just makes the makeup. It says, in vain shall thou make thy, thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee. They will seek thy life. You know, a lot of you women, man, y'all don't realize... <clears throat> y'all don't realize that uh you know the reason you got what you got ultimately is because of most high but you don't realize that it's that's that's to spoil you and make you no good you know they give you the jobs and things like that so you so you solely solely rely on on esau Edom. but what happens when they when they start despising you what happens when they start dropping you that's what you're starting to see man eventually they ain't gonna need y'all no more and then they gonna drop you that's what that's what's happening right now all these jobs, you know, that's been that's that that women had high, all high and mighty. That's the shit that 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 that's going to humble them, man. What you looking at is the uh, the beginning of Isaiah um, uh, uh, four and one, man. You know, that stuff is this, this Bible is real, man. Everything that's been happening is what we've been that we is what we've been preaching, man. That that's going to cause Isaiah four and one, man. You know, so there's a couple things out of that. One, again, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is all Esau be Edom's uh, agenda, man, because they know that they're going to try to throw the black woman, especially the black woman, up in the, in the medical field, so she could do all the the, the maxing, right? The in, in the um and the, uh, the the RFID chip, the mark of the beast, uh, ultimately, there's going to be a lot about women doing that, and that's why they got to be destroyed, man. You know. You're chipping out people, man, and that's that's ridiculous. They always use our they always use our women for that. All the experiments that they did on, on us, they always use the woman. You wanna know why? Again, because they know the woman is the weaker vessel, so they they know they're gonna chase whoever has the power. Right? And they paid them to do it. Right? They always use the woman, man. All the time. So what you just see see them do with the with the C virus vax is what they did all, all the time before, man. This devil don't change. Alright, so let's go on um on to another script. Okay. <clears throat> this is Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, Rise up ye women that are at ease right so it says rise up ye women that are at ease right hear my voice ye careless daughters give ear unto my speech so it say you gotta hear and raise up and rise up because you 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 at ease of this place man and it's supposed to it told you it tells you to rise up what did the, what did the scripture say this ain't your rest this ain't your rest you know and again man rise up you men that are at ease too man you know, break out of that shit. Break out of this shit. Sitting up there bowing down to your woman and shit, man. What that? What type of shit is that? You know, every time we go out there at camp, man, you always see fucking men pushing strollers and a woman walking walking in front of him, and he he pushing the damn stroller head down and everything, man. Fucking castrated, man. Castrated ass niggas, man. You know, but I'm going to get a scripture for that too because again. You know, am I, are we upset at this? Yes and no. We are because it's an abomination. That's why we're upset at it, man. And this is this is this is not how how it's supposed to be. This is not how men supposed to be, and this is not how women supposed to be. That's why we're upset at it, and it, it's an abomination that we constantly sigh and cry for. But I say that we're not upset at it because why? Again, 
I'm going to get I'm going to get I'm going to get to it. This is prophecy. This this is this is further it, the more and more we see this the closer and closer we know how you know that that we're home, you know, out of this place. Right? But that's also doing what? Well, let me I'm get, getting a little ahead of myself. Uh let's let's go on down to 10. It says many days and years shall ye be troubled. Ye careless women for the vintage shall fail. The uh, the gathering shall not come. All right. Verse 11. It says, Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. Right. So it's telling you man A. Hey, tremble before the word of the Lord. Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. You careless women. Right. You careless women. That continue to want to look down on us and things like that. And that's okay. Uh, I'm going back to what I was just talking about too, right? When we see, when we see Jake, you know, with, you know, they're, they're castrated, you know, they got pants hanging down off their asses like little, like little fruitcakes, you know, because that's all it is. It's a, it really is a homosexual act, man, you know, uh, uh, but that's doing what? <clears throat> this is. Isaiah 13 and 12. Again, this is a prophecy. Everything that we speak, like me and the, the brother, the, the, the video that me and the brothers did some, sometime last week. You know, everything that we speak is prophecy, man. Isaiah 13, verse 12. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. That's why the Lord is effeminizing everybody around us and making us men, man. Making us more and more masculine they can say oh toxic masculinity all they want that's fine you know that's cool right right because why we not of this world we not of this world right we a new breed of men up here man so we had one bitch uh walk past and tell and, and tell us yeah we tell you niggas what to do and the first thing we said, well, not up here. You got us fucked up all the way. <laughs> we will get on you real fast. We ain't done these niggas out here. Uh, you you talk to them any type of way and they put their fucking heads down. Man, the hell with that. The hell with that shit. You ain't doing that to us. Fuck that. I dare bitch talk, talk to me that way, man. You know, sure. They got a system on their side. But to be honest, man. Man, look. You know, we try our best, you know, to, to not really not really get into confrontation with the bitches because like I said, they got they they got they got a whole system on their side. They got family members on their side and shit like that. And to be honest, it's not really worth getting into it with them bitches, right? But if one of them dare put their hands on me, man, <laughs> it can look, it can't be me. I'll be looking at these niggas get smacked up by these bitches and all that. I just be looking like, man, that can't be me. That can't be me. And Lord willing, it can't be you, brother. It can't be you, brothers out there. You know? It, it can't be us. You know, we ain't gonna allow that shit. You know. First of all, I try to keep my distance from them. If they try, if they ever do try that shit. The last time a bitch tried to do that, and I was I was like in school when I was real, real young. Can't remember what grade I was in. You know, but she called her put putting a finger on me and shit, and I smacked that shit away. Like, what the fuck wrong with you? And she knew not to do that shit no more, you know? So anyway, man, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, especially to... Oh, one more scripture. Salakia. Salakia, one more scripture, right? Because I said this goes to you men and women as well, man, you know? Because right now, I can't even put it on gender, you know? Because as long as the man is, is messed up... Oh, Salakia, I'm going to make second Chronicles. As long as the man is messed up, the woman gonna be messed up. So y'all all we all messed up together, you know. No, I'm not saying we equal. No, absolutely not. You know, cause man and woman is not equal. By the way, I had to put that out there real quick. Okay, this is second uh, second Chronicles, fifteen verse thirteen. It says that whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Shai, the God of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great. Whether man or woman. 
So you men and women that don't want to do right, you don't want to be men and, and listen to the voice of the Heavenly Father. You don't want to be women and listen to the voice of the Heavenly Father. You know, to be be under subjection unto your husband. Right? You men, you control your whole your household and you're not bowing down to your woman. And say you bowing down to Lord Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. Right? If you ain't doing that, then the Lord gonna put you to death, man. In a horrible, horrible fashion. I think a lot of people forget how much the power, how much power the Lord has, man. He created everything. Right? He can make babies come out deformed, man. Not even born yet. They can they can they can, they can come out deformed as hell, man. Two heads and you know, having having all types of uh, uh like like cipher syndrome and things like that. I just seen a a, a a news event with that. A baby had cipher syndrome and looked all deformed and stuff, man. You know? That's how much the power that's how much power the Lord has, man. And people don't understand. And when you see them chariots, oh my goodness, the chariots are like another story. <laughs> So anyway, man, you know, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, and this is this is all a warning, man. All a warning. This stuff that's happening all around the world, man. Y'all get, yeah, man, y'all better get right, man. You know, and I pray that I stay right with the Lord Yahweh Bashim. Hell, I pray that I am right with the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So anyway, again, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Call hello Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Shalom.